Asia Mathematica, April 2023. Well, uh, since really speaking, I do not have too much time for this channel nowadays because of uh, many, you know, uh, everyday problems and obligations. But I know that there are several uh, people who watch this channel and who are interested. So I would like to discuss very briefly the newest issue of Asia Mathematica. It is a nice journal that publishes many papers uh, on topological spa uh, spaces and their generalizations and about topologies in some non-classical universes like, you know, fuzzy or intuitionistic fuzzy or neutrosophic or soft uh, framework. Uh, you can check this paper here. Uh, as you can see, here you have direct uh, link to their page. Uh, I also published there twice um, until now. Uh, of course, they publish uh, some articles about other branches of mathematics too. And in the newest issue that has just been published with some delay, we have five papers. One of them is about, well, strongly nonlinear, anilateral, anisotropic elliptic problem. And of course, this is beyond the scope of my channel and my mathematical interests. But there are also three papers on topology and one that deals with set theory and ordered structures. So uh, I encourage you to study this monograph about uh, ordered structures, transitive binary relations and posets. But here we would like to concentrate very briefly on these topological papers. Um, so there are three. And the first of them is Remarks on NM Pre-Continuous Maps, and it's written by Ganeshan from Raja Dorai Singham Government Arts College somewhere in India in Tamil Nadu. And as you can read, the author discusses some new notions that refer to the idea of minimal but neutrosophic structures. So they are neutrosophic, so instead of typical power set of X and classical sets, we have the family of all neutrosophic sets on X. You know that we've presented um, neutrosophic sets on this channel uh, at least several times. They were introduced by Smarandache and um, they are based on the concept that we have three logical values uh, that vary between 0 and 1. This is truth, indeterminacy and falsity and they sum up, they can sum up even to three. Um, and uh, these are minimal structures, so not topologies. So topology is replaced with much weaker structure, namely with minimal structure in the sense of Popa and Neury. But here it's neutrosophic. So our requirements are that neutrosophic empty set and neutrosophic uh, universal set, they belong to such structure. And of course, there can be additional requirements, but these two are necessary. And the author declares, defines that a neutrosophic set A on X is an M pre-open set, if and only if it is, well, the, he uses the symbol, what we may think about containment, yes, about inclusion. So it's contained in the neutrosophic minimal interior of neutrosophic minimal closure of A. Then he defines appropriate class of maps. Uh, of functions, we say that a function from one neutrosophic uh, space to the another one is neutrosophic pre-minimal continuous if every pre-image of, as you can see, open set, neutrosophic minimal open set, is neutrosophic pre-open set, pre-open. So this is a kind of asymmetry here. This is common in such papers that we speak about pre-images of open sets and we expect that they will be, well, for example, in this case, pre-open. Um, the rest of the paper is devoted to the study of these sets and these maps, um, mostly in the context of corresponding separation actions. So there are some spaces like T0, T1, T2, and uh, defined and the notions of compactness and pre-compactness in this framework are introduced and studied. Two. The next paper is Nano Weekly G Hash Closet Sets in Nano Topological Spaces by Devi Ramesh Pandey and Prem Kumar. Um, as you can see, uh, it's obvious that the authors are working in the field of nano topological spaces. We know uh, that they were defined by Lely Stivagar, and they are based on the general concept of rough sets that were introduced on approximately 30 or even 40 years ago by Pavlak from Poland. 
And in this framework, uh, these authors, they define a new class of sets, namely, namely G-hash closed sets. As for the rough sets, they are used to model uncertainty in terms of these objects that are certain and these objects that are probable in our universe. And uh, using these approximations, we can describe some classical set. Um, you know that nanotopological spaces are connected with micro-topological spaces and with quasi-topological spaces too. Uh, this was also on our channel. Well, as for the definition of G-hash closed sets, we omit details because, you know, it's rather complicated because it relies on several earlier definitions. So to define this class, you need to know how to define nano alpha open sets, nano G-hash closed sets and several other classes. Yes, so this is you know, rather complex building. Uh, the whole paper is very detailed and technical. It contains many propositions, many lemmas, many small definitions, many characterizations, relationships. And what is important is that corresponding functions, namely continuous, open and closed. Of course, you know, G hash continues and so on. G hash open, nano G hash open and closed functions are defined too. Uh, as for the third paper in this issue of Asia Mathematica, it is Nano-Binary Generalized Closed Sets by Jasmine Elizabeth and Hari Shiva Annam. Here we have nanotopological spaces, again, but combined with this binary setting that we know that it was introduced by Jyoti and Tangavel. Later it was expanded to n airy topological spaces. Uh, both binary and n airy spaces were presented on my channel a mm, year or two ago. So they say that a subset, row 1, row 2, because in binary topological spaces, and the same is true for nano-binary topological spaces, we work not with uh, product topology, not with um, the power set of product, but with uh, the product of power sets. So this is not something like product topology, it is different. So we have pairs of sets, yes, row 1, row 2. Uh, then we have nano, mm, nano topological, nano binary topological spaces. So we have two universes. We have nano topology on them, and we have U one, U two. These are uh, these are mm, uh, equivalence uh, relations. Yes, on on both one is on x one and another one is on x two. And if you know uh, something about rough sets and nano topologies, then you know that you need. Uh, this uh, this kind of uh, you know uh, partition yes uh, to define uh, rough set and to define nano topology. So a subset of such space is called nano binary generalized closed. If it's closure, they use this symbol, the specific symbol overline to denote closure is mm, always contained in L1, L2, another mm, uh, binary set. Whenever uh, the set is contained in, in, in this L1 and L2, and this one is open. Okay, uh, this is taken from, from typical topological spaces. This class, as far as I know, it has been studied in other settings too, maybe in intuitionistic or in soft sets. Uh, BS it may using the notion defined above, the authors define three other classes, weakly, mildly, and strongly NBG closed sets. And then they prove many relationships and characterizations, as always. There is no bibliography for today, because just as I said, you can, uh, you can reach this newest issue of Asia Mathematica on their page. So, uh, greetings for you. Thank you very much. Um, the next video, perhaps, will be about antitopological spaces or about so-called triple sets. We will see. Thank you.